NBC News can now project Mike DeWine. This is a big projection right interesting. here. Interesting. Yeah, Mike DeWine in Ohio projected to win. And Hallie, explain to our viewers why this is interesting because we can't call the Senate race just yet. And well, we were just talking right. about the Ohio Senate race. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, because of the fact that, listen, DeWine, by the way, in addition to being a potential, maybe talked about 2024 candidate, right, right. is also somebody who is running on a ticket with J.D. Vance, yeah. who is somebody who has come around to the more Trump wing of the party, got a late boost from former President Trump who came in and rallied for him, but he's up against Tim Ryan. You know, Chuck will talk about this more. Not a lot of yeah. money poured into that race there in Ohio nationally from Democrats. And, and Tim Ryan, of course, congressman who's running for the Senate seat, has been really taking a different tack, really focusing on inflation, economy. I mean, yeah. the, more, the most moderate of the moderate Democrat, right, is, is, yeah. is Tim Ryan here. And a little, keep it a little closer than I think people expected. So the governor's race, interesting. You right. know who knows a lot about it is Jesse Kirsch, who's in Ohio. Um, so, Ohio. yeah, talk to us about this, Jesse, with this projection here for Governor DeWine uh, in Ohio to keep the governor's mansion. Yeah, and I, I think that's so interesting to see, right, with none of the vote essentially uh, counted a projection already, which is, just tells you about the landslide uh, that it looks like we're, we're seeing in the governor's race and the fact that that stands in such stark contrast to what we're seeing in this Senate contest. And you just mentioned there, Hallie, uh, the things Tim Ryan is doing that are different from other Democrats. He's not highlighting abortion or election integrity as his main issues. His number one thing has been jobs, workers. That's something we've seen a lot from him. He also is a Democrat, a Democrat who will brag about agreeing with former President Donald Trump on some issues. So that is the context of what we have been seeing in this Senate race. And you talked about the money issue. I talked to Tim Ryan about this over the weekend and asked him uh, if he thinks the National Party didn't do enough for him. And he thinks it's a strategic mistake because going back to the summer, he had ads all over the airwaves and J.D. Vance was pretty much silent. It was crickets out of the Republican camp. And that allowed Ryan to steer the narrative uh, on television and the advertisements that voters were seeing. Well, then Vance gets an infusion of cash. He's able to push back on that narrative. And Ryan thinks there was a momentum that he had that could have helped push him all the way over uh, into victory. And so we'll be seeing at the end of the night if there's any remorse uh, from the campaigns in terms of how the strategy was played out. That's what Tim Ryan's doing. J.D. Vance first will tell you that what Tim Ryan portrays himself as doesn't line up with his record. And above else, both of these candidates are trying to portray each other as tied to their party leaders, whether it be J.D. Vance, someone who will just do what President, former President Trump wants or Tim Ryan doing just what President Biden or Speaker Pelosi wants. That is the perceptions uh, these two are putting out there, and they call each other extremists. So clearly, there is a play for moderate, probably Republican-leaning voters, because remember, this is a state that voted twice for former President Trump by about eight points. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.